Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again and today we got a brand new patch for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 to go over including the Neo Volkite pistol, our first look at this brand new sidearm which looks pretty interesting so far and a few patch notes to go over as well. So let's see what the pistol has in store for us and then go over the patch notes after that. Bulwark, Assault, and Vanguard classes only, just FYI. Lethal Beams. Let's see if the... Oh, it doesn't have the upgrade information on it. I was going to try to get a sneaky peek at that, but we'll uh, watch the rest of it. Oh, there we go. Hold on, let's go over those real quick. I know I'm interrupting this, but... Uh, damage increase, damage uh, increase against terminus, rate of thermal damage increase by 10%, let's see if there's any more, and then after killing a Majoris level enemy or higher with a melee weapon, rate of thermal damage increased by 30% for 2 seconds. So it does go alongside a melee build, which would be kind of nice to have, like a, a melee weapon in combination with this would be kind of sick, perfect for the uh, assault class. It looks sick. Yeah, I do believe uh, that's almost like a... If this thing is as good as it looks, if it's actually really, really nice, it would be almost a buff to the Assault class, to be honest. Uh, the sidearms that the Assault class has right now are pretty solid, but the, the class in general does struggle a little bit at the higher level content. So we'll see if that's the case, if they're going to really have that i mean it's the assault class struggles less now that we don't have the uh nearby space marines uh debuff that was uh plaguing everybody but this is the, another good option so the powerful thermal ray weapon now available for assault vanguard and bulwark classes bulwark could make use of this as well pretty well which will be nice but the combination with melee really leads into the assault class as being the the primary for this new weapon Generates a localized explosion for huge damage to your target and all nearby enemies. That's not bad. Balance tweaks. Plasma incendiary slightly reduce the amount of heat generated uh, by normal and charge shots for versions. Uh, the Mastercrafted Alpha, Salvation of Baca, Gothamore Crusade. And then fix a bug that will cause several versions not producing heat at all. That's a weird one. Bolt Sniper. Fire rate increased. So that's going to be more DPS. Uh, headshot bonus increased from point from times 2 to 2.5 which is also nice oculus bolt carbine scope added and then headshot bonus increased 1 to 1.33 that's a pretty nice change overall bolt carbine smg uh adjusted damage fall off curve base damage increased by 50 percent for the first 10 meters after that the damage drops to the original pre-patch value oh so this is going to be really valuable if you're playing an up close uh type of gameplay which i think is good i i do like having weapons perform differently at different distances i think that's one of the ways to make balance really effective is that if you have weapons that perform different functions that's the best way to balance them instead of having like uh one weapon that's absolutely dominant and is the main thing that everybody's using because it's good at all ranges versus something that's really good up close but uh, starts to fall off as you get far away versus the opposite something that's really solid early on like close range and then as the distance goes it just gets better in comparison with the other options in the game then we've got the auto bolt rifle max ammo increased by one magazine for each version again nice little buff fixed some bugs with uh dlc cosmetics uh, sniper perk Sniper invisibility, fix a bug for random players from muting other players in PvP, which is funny. Uh, fix several perks not triggering correctly from enemy kills, and a bug preventing certain weapon perks from triggering correctly when reaching a specific HP threshold. This is all nice quality of life changes overall. I do think the most exciting thing is obviously the new weapon, 
which I think a lot of people will have fun with. It does look really cool. Now, the one downside with them not releasing a lot of new weapons is that when they release one that's not going to be usable by every class, it does feel bad for those who aren't Assault Vanguard or Bulwark mains. If you have other classes that you prefer, this might make you... A little bit frustrated plus you do have to re-level these weapons without new content and that's one of the things that that is a little bit uh a little bit frustrating about this game at times is that with the new weapon you do have to bring it from the base level all the way up to a good level so you have to uh get all that experience level it up use your um currency to level it up and get to the new classes as well and there's really nothing new to play in the game to do so you're going to essentially be replaying the stuff you previously played that's why i think uh space marine 2 would be better off holding off on some of their updates until everything is ready instead of dropping one thing at a time if you had released this alongside the new operation and alongside the new difficulty mode now all of a sudden people are encouraged to level it up very quickly with the new operation and with um the desire to use it in the new difficulty but spacing it out like this i think is it makes sense as far as constantly delivering content you want to try to keep players engaged in that way but i do feel like more people will come back into the game if there's more of a reason if you kind of drop these like small little tiny updates we saw this in destiny 2 that's a live service game so it's a bit different but uh and other games have had similar issues where if the patch if the update if the new content isn't enough then people will jump back in for an hour or so and then and then leave because they're waiting on whatever's next. Like, I don't know if a lot of people will level this up right away or if they'll just wait until the next patch comes whenever we get the next operation, uh, the horde mode, whatever the case is uh, with the new content down the line. And so that's really where it is something that uh, I hope they look at going forward and they maybe delay the patch so they can kind of meet in the middle and have everything ready at the same time just a personal preference and something that i've seen in these games over the course of time uh people tend to respond better and get more excited about beefier patches but that being said the, the pistol looks really cool um for people who have done everything in the game i'm not sure if it's enough for them to come back and people who have fallen off the game again I, I don't know if it's enough for them to come back but i'll definitely check it out and see what it has in store for us let me know are you guys still playing warhammer 40k space marine 2 and if so what are you doing what's your objective have you already beaten all the content at every difficulty level including the new one or are you just kind of waiting for the next big major update for you to get new content to check out i'd love to hear from you guys like the video subscribe my name is Jopa. Have a good one and I'll catch you all later.